let's code a password generator app. All right, guys, let's make that password application and let's use that, that snaky language. What is it again? I ah, asked yes, Python. So boot up your Visual Studio and click Python application. And we're going to call this password generator. And it's going to complain about me. Well, let's just do it again and make sure that it's a good name. All right, we got our Visual Studio project here. So let's first import the very first class we need. So it's going to be called random. Obviously, it's a random password generator. So we need to have some sort of a random element to it. And we are going to use the random module to do that. But first, let's have a little bit of fun. And we don't want it just a really plain boring app, right? Let's just plop some ASCII art in here. Now, lucky for me, I already have it off on my other screen, but I'm just going to paste it in here and yeah, as you can see it, it's just going to say ran pass, you know, random password. So it'll just print that nice message to the console when the user boots the app. And, you know, it'll look kind of cool. Finally, let's also say like a little hello. So hi, hi there, user. I know you're in my app now, but let's, uh, before you, you know, generate your password, let's just have some cool art and a cool welcome phrase. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get to the serious business. Down here, we're first going to define a list of random characters that we're going to pull from. So we're going to say define a list of random characters and actually just remove random we're just defining a list of characters and we're going to use all possible characters here so let's just say characters is equal to an empty string there's probably a simpler way to pull a list of all characters but since this is just a super simple app we're just gonna literally manually define all the characters that we'd like to use so first let's do the uppercase alphabet a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t v w x y z you know we all know that as kids whatever then we need to import all of our numbers that we're going to use so zero through ten or if, sorry zero through nine and then we want to use all the lowercase alphabet so let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole thing the same thing again and then finally let's use all the symbols that we're going to use so just hold shift and basically go across your numpad at the top of your keyboard because we're going to be using all these possible symbols here you know if you don't want to use some of these symbols that's fine um i'm going to include parentheses because you no know, why not all right now that we have the list of characters let's go ahead and use that to generate our random password so we're going to say generate a random password. But first, before we do that, we need to find out how long do we want this password to be? So we're going to say prompt the user. And right here, we're going to grab some input from the user by asking a simple question. So we're going to get the password length from the user. And the way to do that is say password length is equal to, we're going to cast the whole thing as an int. And then we're going to say input, which is a little uh, method you can use in Python to actually prompt the user. Inside of this input method, we're going to uh, have a string and we're going to say, hey, how long would you like your password to be? The next step, obviously, is for the user to enter the length that they want. So after this is done, the code following it will execute. Let's assume this is already full. And now we need to actually take that length. You know, it's already casted to an int, so we know it's a real number. So why don't we just loop? up through that number first let's uh, create a new password uh, array that we're going to fill and then let's use our loop so say 4x in and then we're going to use this range method and then the password length so this is basically going to say hey for x up to the range and if <laughs> It looks like it removed it on me, but we're gonna add it back because we are awesome people and we cannot be overruled. So here we have our for loop and we're basically saying, hey, every time that X, uh, you know, iterates, we're gonna, you know, add to it and it's gonna go all the way up until the password length. So let's say the user enters five. Obviously this is going to loop five times and then um, inside the loop, every time you wanna select some sort of random character. So how are we gonna do that? Well, inside the loop, of course, we're going to say, hey, every time that it loops, append a random character to the password string. The way to do that is to say, hey, the new password that we created up there, we want to append to it. And then inside of the append method, we want to, um, you know, randomly select a character from that character string. And the way that we're gonna do that is use a real clever method called random. So we're referencing a random object dot choice. And that's just going to say, hey, whatever you um, specify in this choice method, um, we're just going to randomly select something out of there. The thing that we're going to say is, hey, 
we want you to choose something random out of this characters thing. So that's literally all you need for that for loop. That's going to be real simple. Every time this iterates, hey, we're just going to tag a new character into this array. So let's say the user entered five. We have five random characters in here in this new password array. Now, obviously, a password is a string, not an array. Or, you know, you could technically call it an array of characters. But, you know, for the most part, we use um, either, you know, a string and then we can like hash the string. And then that's just how it works. So let's convert that from an array back into a string. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna say, hey, we want to join the whole list back into a string. So now that we have our comment right there, let's uh, declare a variable. So we're gonna say final password is equal to, then we need to have a separator. So in the array, um, obviously, you know, each element's by itself. However, when we're combining it back into a string, we need to, uh, and we're gonna call a method called join that's going to join it back together. But you can specify a separator like, I don't know, a comma or a space or whatever symbol you'd like that, hey, when it's taking it from array, putting it back into a string, it's going to insert that separator after each iteration. However, we don't want a separator at all, so we're just going to say nothing. We're going to have two single quotes right next to each other, no space at all. Then we're going to say dot join. We're calling this dot join method. This takes a good old array and then crunches it down into a string. And then, you know, like I said before, we could specify a separator. Now in this join function, you're going to ask yourself, what is it that I want to join? And you might think initially, hey, new password. Now in our case, that's not going to be exactly how it's going to work. Uh, we need to call another function called map. So we're going to say this. And in this map function, we're going to say, hey, we need to say string, which is a or str which is a class in python that converts things to a string and then you need to specify an iterator for this map method and in that case we're going to say hey new password basically what this is doing every index in new password we're converting it to a string and then we're going to join it all together with no spacing which will eventually dump out this string if i explain it wrong i'm sorry but that's my understanding of it and obviously i'm not right on everything but that's just my understanding of it at this time so now that we have that knocked out of the way we have one final thing to do and that's just going to be letting the user know uh the new password that we gave them so we're gonna say hey so we're gonna say hey let the user know their new password and then we're going to print out a statement in this print statement we're gonna have a new line and then just say whatever you'd like this is your new password with a space and then we're gonna add a comma and then say final password and close off that good old parenthesis there so now let's run our app and make sure that it works. So here we are, we have our awesome ASCII art and it's like, hello, let's generate a password. How long would you like your password to be? As the user, I'm gonna be like, okay, um, 12 characters, click enter. And then this is your new password and you'll see it spits out a brand new password for us with some symbols and different capitalization and, and all that kind of stuff mixed in there. Is this the world's best password generator? Probably, but probably not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Definitely not, but you know, this is a great start and a great coding project to um, use for beginners. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys learned something and had fun while doing it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Obviously give the video a thumbs up. Why wouldn't you? And you know, comment down below if you need any help or any thoughts or suggestions for another video. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you in the next one.